Gemma is a mermaid. No, really. She lives in the Atlantic Ocean with her family and friends. Can you tell who the youngest sister in the family is just by looking at them? Take a look at the granny mermaid. She has plenty of starfish on her tail. It's a hand. Each star symbolizes one year of life. That means that the second mermaid is the youngest. Her tail is decorated with 15 starfish, which means she's 15. And two other sisters are 18 and 22 years old, respectively. Now one day, Gemma went to a mermaid party. But one of the guests was not a real mermaid. Can you tell who it was? This shark over there is not a mermaid. Gemma's mother, Fiona, owns a cute one-story jewelry store for mermaids. She came to her store early in the morning and found out that the most expensive necklace had been stolen. She called the underwater police. Detective Fisher (laughs) arrived and questioned Fiona. I closed the store at 10 p.m. and went home. The pearl necklace was still right there. Detective Fisher identified three suspects. The owner of the store next door said, I closed my door at 8 p.m. and went home right after that. The guard said, I was on duty last night. Perhaps the thief snuck into the store when I was patrolling another floor. And the cleaning lady said that she'd finished cleaning at 4 p.m. Then she rushed home because her husband was having a birthday party. So, who's lying? The guard. Fiona's shop is a one-story building. He couldn't be on another floor when the necklace was stolen. There's no other floor. Gemma was swimming with dolphins and reached the surface of the ocean. Suddenly, she noticed two handsome guys, Nick and Rick, and they were both in trouble. Which guy should Gemma say first? Rick. Although this wooden boat is a bit flooded with water, it's still okay, and Nick can scoop the water out. But this inflatable boat is damaged. Rick will soon find himself in the water, and a shark is nearby. Gemma saved both guys and brought them to the shore. Nick grabbed his phone and took her picture without permission. Gemma asked him to delete the photo, because merfolk didn't want people to know about them. Nick said, okay, I'll delete the evidence. But first, you gotta crack my riddle. Salty water everywhere, but not sea in sight. What am I talking about? Can you help Gemma? The correct answer is tears. Rick asked Gemma on a date, and she said yes. She went to a local witch doctor to buy a potion to get human legs for 24 hours. The door to the witch's house was locked, and the note said, If you want to meet me, find the key first. Can you help Gemma find the key? Here it is! Gemma opened the door with the key and found another door that required a password. There was a note on the door. What has 88 keys but cannot open a single door? Can you help Gemma crack the code? It's a piano! Gemma didn't have any money. The witch offered her this deal. If you guess my riddle, I'll give you the potion for free. But if you don't crack it, you will be my servant forever. So listen. Two in a hole, and four in a pack. Six in a trio, you see. Eight's a quartet, but what you must get is the name that fits just one of me. What am I? Gemma cracked this riddle right away and got her potion. What about you? The correct answer is half. 
Gemma got the potion, drank it, and turned into a human. There were three routes she could take to get to the meeting point. The first path led through a village inhabited by vampires. The second path is full of toxic flowers that could make her lose her mind. And the third path went through an enchanted forest that blocked all magic and canceled all previous spells. Which Uh way should Gemma choose? The first option is the safest. It's a sunny day and vampires are probably sleeping. Rick and Gemma met at a restaurant called Three Mermaids. But there are only two statues of mermaids on the porch. The owner of the cafe, Victor, is well aware of this and could easily fix this. But he doesn't. Why? This is his business strategy. Passers-by notice the mistake, enter the restaurant to inform the owner, and often stay for lunch. Rick is a detective at the police station. During his dinner with Gemma, he received an urgent call from work. Jeff, a country house owner, said that his housekeeper had tried to get rid of him. The night before, the housekeeper gave him an apple for dessert. The man took a bite and passed out. He woke up the next morning and immediately called the police. Rick and Gemma went to the crime scene. The housekeeper denied everything. Gemma didn't know who to believe. But when Rick examined the crime scene, he understood who was lying right away. Who's the liar? The housekeeper or the owner? The owner said he'd eaten a poison apple. So if it happened the day before, this apple must be brown now. But it's not. The man must have bitten into it just before calling the police. Gemma didn't notice this clue because she doesn't live on land. Rick and Gemma decided to have a picnic in a sunflower field. But something's wrong here. Can you tell what exactly? The wind is blowing the clouds to the right, but the sunflowers are swinging to the left. That's impossible. Gemma fell asleep in the field. When she woke up, Rick was gone. She looked around and saw an evil elf. He said, I have put your boyfriend in jail, mermaid. If you want to see him again, solve my puzzle. I can be red, blue, purple, and green. No one can reach me, not even the queen. What am I? Can you help Gemma save Rick? The correct answer is Rainbow. The elf took Gemma to his secret lab. He said, I've cloned your boyfriend so we don't need him anymore. Now you may take him home. Unfortunately, I don't remember which of them is the real Rick. But you know better. Can you help Gemma decide which of these guys is her Rick? This guy has three fingers. This Rick's teeth are too sharp for a human. This Rick lacks eyebrows, and this one has pointed ears. So this one is the only real human. The elf returned Rick to Gemma. The guys rushed away from his lab. It began to rain, and they decided to hide in an old, creepy castle. When they entered the building, they saw a beautiful fountain. That's when Rick and Gemma realized that they were not alone. There were many ghosts in this castle. Can you figure out the exact number? There are seven ghosts in this picture. One of the ghosts is hiding inside the fountain. And the guy over there is not a ghost. He has feet and he's sweating. He's the owner of the castle. The owner showed Rick and Gemma his art collection. It contained an ancient and expensive item he was very proud of. This is a picture created by a 16th century artist. (laughs) I got it from my father, and he got it from his father, too, and so on. But Rick didn't believe that the painting was original and called the castle owner a liar. Why? See? 
see this plastic cup? It couldn't exist in the 16th century. Well, it stopped raining and the guys decided to leave the castle. But the door had disappeared. The owner of the castle was very angry and offered them only three options to escape. There was a tunnel with a fire burning inside behind the first door. Dangerous, angry snakes were waiting behind the second door. And there was a portal leading to a black hole behind the third door. Which door should Gemma and Rick choose? The first door. They can put the fire out using the water from the fountain and vases from this shelf. Rick and Gemma went to the beach because the 24-hour spell was coming to an end. Gemma had to return to the Sea Kingdom. Suddenly, the Wicked Witch appeared out of nowhere and said, You guys are so cute! I don't want you to be apart. If you manage to solve my riddle, I'll turn Gemma into a human for good. Here's your task. How to poke a balloon without popping it. What do you think? Rick cracked this riddle right away. What about you? The correct way to do it is by letting the air out of the balloon first. Gemma became a human. Rick was very glad and invited her to go on vacation right away. They arrived at the airport, but suddenly an elegant lady began to shout. Someone had snatched her super expensive bag. Rick reacted quickly. He detained three suspicious passengers who had been hanging around for the last hour. Rick and the airport security watched the footage from the cameras. Unfortunately, they could only find the footage of the events from 5 minutes before the theft. So, who's the criminal? It's the guy over there. The elderly woman's bag only looks bigger because she put her jacket inside. And the stolen bag wouldn't fit in this girl's purse. Gemma was living happily with Rick. But one day, she received this postcard from her mermaid sister. Gemma was horrified. She dropped everything and went back to the Sea Kingdom to save her sister. But when she got there, she saw that her sister was safe. How did she survive? See these theater curtains in the picture? It was a show for the inhabitants of the sea. Well, that figures. Esme was having her regular walk in the forest and got lost. After wandering around for a while, she found the witch's house. She walked in, petted the cat, and asked the witch to send her home. The witch had a question for her. If Esme answered correctly, she'd be free to go home. If not, Esme would have to stay with the witch and the cat. My grandma was born in 10 BCE. How old did she turn in 100 CE? She turned 109 because there was no year zero. There was 1 BCE and then 1 CE. Take a look at the picture and try to find teeth. Here they are. Can you find the odd emoji? It's right here. Okay, here's another one for you. Which emoji is different? Here it is. Hope you got it. Can you find the odd one this time? Here it is. A group of students was having a history lesson. They used a time machine to observe different periods of time. When the teacher left them for a minute, the students used the time machine without permission and were taken to different times. Take a look at the pictures and try to find our time travelers. Can you see a student here?
Look, this guy is taking a selfie. Okay, the next one. What can you say? Look at this girl, she's wearing sneakers. They didn't exist in ancient Egypt. What about this picture? Can you find a student here? Look, this guy is drinking soda. Finally, the fourth one. Can you find a time traveler? This girl has pink hair. Now, take a look at the picture and try to understand what's wrong with it. Look closer at the alphabet on the classroom wall. The order of the letters isn't correct. E and F have been switched. What can you say about this image? Yeah, the skyscrapers definitely don't belong here. Mrs. Mitchell fell from the third floor of her mansion. Atlas was walking by and saw it happen. So she called the police and ambulance immediately and stayed with the woman to make sure she was all right. The girl said she had seen Mrs. Mitchell washing the windows, so it probably was an accident. But Detective Callum didn't believe it and said that someone had pushed her out. Why? The window she fell out of is closed. If it had been an accident, the window would have remained open, but someone closed it. One late evening, someone robbed the arcade. There were three suspects, Ginny, Cyrus, and Charles. Ginny said she had indeed been to the arcade that day, but she was innocent. Cyrus said she had a date that day. She looked at the clock hanging on the wall and left the arcade at 6.30 p.m. Charles said he had been busy playing and hadn't seen or noticed anything. Who's lying? Cyrus. Here's the room he was talking about. But as you see, there's no clock on the wall. Another one for you. Be attentive. Look, the girl isn't reflected in the mirror. Weird. What's wrong here? The calendar claims there are just 30 days in August. Where is August 31st? What do you have to say about this one? It's morning, but there are stars in the sky. But they aren't visible during the day. Everly got into a car accident and lost memory. Two guys, Toby and Dustin, came to take her home from the hospital. Each of them said he was her boyfriend. Can you tell who Everly's real boyfriend is? It's probably Dustin. He has Everly's name tattooed on his arm. Lyra woke up in a dungeon and couldn't remember what happened. The girl saw a door, but once she walked towards it, the wall started to move. Lyra could get out, but she needed to type in the six remaining digits of the passcode. Can you tell what the passcode is? The combination is just a set of two-digit numbers, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So the other six digits are 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8. They make the remaining 16, 17, and 18. In the first row, there are letters L, T, V, and X. In the second row, there are letters A, 
F H K N and Z. Follow this logic. Which three letters should be in the third row? The letters in the first row all require two straight lines to be written, and they're in alphabetical order. In the second row, the letters are also in alphabetical order, and they are made of three straight lines. So, in the third row, there should be letters that require four lines, and they should be in alphabetical order too. Which means these three letters are E, M, and W. Antarctica, Australia, Africa, Asia, and Europe. Can you tell what's similar about the names of these continents? All of them start with the same letter they end with. Ada and Celeste are going to work by car and are running late. Who's doing something wrong? Ada, she isn't wearing a seatbelt. Leo and Liberty are going on a date after Liberty has spent a month in London. The woman is driving to the restaurant, and Leo has already arrived and is waiting for her. Who is doing something wrong? Liberty, she's driving on the left side of the road. Girl, you're not in London anymore. Georgia is driving her car to school, and Palmer is taking her son to the doctor. Who is doing something wrong? Georgia, there's a cat wandering around in her car. The animal can get spooked, and then it may scratch the driver or hide under the pedals. It can lead to an accident. Eleanor and Fleur return home after spending the night at their friends studying for the test. Can you tell which of them wasn't studying, but was instead at a party? I'd say it's Fleur. She's wearing a dress, high heels, and evening makeup. A college soccer team played six matches in the season. They won two, drew two, and lost two. In total, they conceded two goals and scored three. What are the results of all six matches? Every time they lost, they must have conceded at least one goal. They lost two matches and conceded two goals, which means they conceded one goal in each match. The score of these must be 0 to 1. We're out of conceded goals, so the score of the two matches that ended in a draw should be 0 0. Now, we're only left with the three goals and two winning games. So, in game one, they must have won with the score of 1 0, and in another one, with the score of 2 0. Neo works in an airport. His job is to check ID cards and not let suspicious people in. Take a look at these three ID cards and try to figure out which person has a fake one. The second ID looks suspicious. The month and day of birth are switched, so I'd pay closer attention to his documents. One evening, in the city's Museum of Natural History, the lights went off for three minutes. When the problem was solved, museum workers discovered that a rare and expensive dinosaur fossil had been stolen. The city's best detective came to investigate the case. He had three suspects and asked them what they had been doing when the lights had gone off. Ashley said that she had been in the bathroom. Ben said he had been in another room looking at paintings. Evan said he had been in the room with the fossil, but he couldn't see or do anything because it was dark. Who is lying? Ben, it's the Natural History Museum. There are no paintings. In a little town, someone stole a bucket of chicken wings from a local store. 
there were three suspects. All of them were customers who had been to the store that morning. A detective visited each of them and asked if they'd known anything about the incident. Mr. Gibbs said he'd been in a rush that morning. He had to be home on time for a work call. Mrs. Connor said her family was vegetarian, so she wouldn't be interested in chicken. Haley, a college student, said she had got her orange juice and sandwich and left. Can you tell who's lying? It's Mrs. Connor. She said her family was vegetarian, but take a look at the room behind her back. There is freshly cooked chicken on the table. Sierra and Fred like extreme sports. Sierra is about to jump with a parachute, and Fred is going to jump into the lake from a cliff. Who's in danger? Fred, there are rocks under the cliff he's about to jump from. Ava has three sisters, and all of them are mothers. Ava has one daughter. Eliza has two nephews and three nieces. Chloe has one nephew and three nieces. Ava has one nephew and five nieces. How many nephews and nieces does Ava have? Ava has no sons, which means all the boys are distributed between her sisters. Chloe and Ava have only one nephew each, while Eliza has two. It means that Eliza doesn't have sons. Chloe has one and Ava has one. Therefore, Ava has two nephews. Chloe has three nieces and Ava has five. They both have Eliza and Ava as sisters. So the difference between them must be because of Chloe who has two girls. Eliza has three nieces. Two of them are Chloe's daughters and one is Ava's. It means Ava doesn't have any daughters, but Ava has five nieces. One of them is Ava's daughter, and two are Chloe's daughters. Eliza must have two daughters then. So, Ava has two nephews and four nieces. Here's a quick joke. Two geniuses are walking down the street. One genius says to the other, Hey, you look down in the dumps. What's the gray matter? I didn't say it was a good joke. Okay, you big brain person you, here's another challenging quandary of riddles to solve. Ted is a lucky game show winner. He can pick one of the three prizes. A brand new Mercedes, a Louis Vuitton purse, or a MacBook. Which one should he choose? Think carefully, he can only get one prize. Look at the Mercedes. Its logo is wrong, so it must be fake. The same goes for the purse. That's what Louis Vuitton's real logo looks like. But the MacBook seems to be okay, at least at first sight. So let's go for it. A car thief appeared in a little town. Every night, a car went missing. First, it was Mr. Smith's red vehicle. The next day, it was Mr. Holmes' pink car. And last night, it was Mrs. Tanner's white Ford. The town's detective is going to stop the criminal. Take a look at the four cars that are still out there and help the man understand which car is going to be stolen next. There are four cars left. Yellow, blue, green, and black. The first car that was stolen was red. The word red has three letters. The next one was pink. There are four letters in pink. The third vehicle was white, and the word white has five letters. It means the next car to be stolen is going to be yellow, because there are six letters in this word, as best I can count. Mr. Jones was going on vacation. In the evening of his last day at work, he cleaned up his office and left, taking the key with him. When the man came back two weeks later, he immediately realized someone had broken into his office while he had been gone. How did he figure it out? Mr. Jones cleaned everything and took out the trash. But have a look at the garbage can now. There's some paper inside. 
Esme got lost in the forest. She was wandering around all day long and couldn't find a way out. Finally, at dusk, she saw a spooky house where a witch lived. Esme had nowhere else to go, so she entered the house and asked the witch to help her. The witch offered Esme to play a game. I'll tell you a riddle. If you get the answer right, I'll take you out of the forest. But if you make a mistake, I'll keep you here as my maid forever. Esme had no choice but to agree. Here's what the witch said. It has cities, but doesn't have a single house. It has mountains, but not a single tree. It has water, but no fish. What is it? Can you help Esme? It's a map! Students got an assignment for their summer break. They had to start learning a new language. It could be any language they liked. When a new semester started, the teacher asked the students how it had been going. Mark said he had been learning Brazilian and enjoying it. Genevieve said she'd chosen Ukrainian. Ben said he had been learning Arabic. It turned out to be very hard, but interesting. But the teacher didn't believe one of the students. Who was lying? She didn't believe Mark, who had said he had been studying Brazilian. There's no Brazilian language. People speak Portuguese in Brazil. Oliver came back home and found a love letter in his mailbox. It was a very sweet one. But the sender didn't write their name. However, there was a little note at the end. J plus 1, B minus 1, R plus 2, H minus 3. Oliver has four suspects. Jane, Alex, Leah, and Kate. Can you tell which one of them wrote the love letter to Oliver? The note is the hint, of course, and the alphabet is the key. J plus 1 means the next letter in the alphabet, which is K. B minus 1 means one letter before B, which is A. Two letters after R is T. And finally, three letters before H, there's E. So, the secret admirer is Kate. While a very rich gentleman was having his three-month vacation, Three months? His mansion was burgled. The police were notified and the detectives started the investigation. There were three people caught on the security camera. They were interrogated. Max, the owner's old friend, said he had come several times to collect the mail. Gwen, the housemaid, said she had visited three days before to clean the house. Ronnie, the gardener, said he had been coming every week to take care of the garden. All of them denied stealing anything, but the detective didn't believe one of them. Who was lying? He didn't believe Gwen. She said she'd cleaned the house three days before. But look around. There's dust and dark stains everywhere. It doesn't look like it's been cleaned recently. So she must be lying. A long time ago, in Norway, a princess was taken away. She was locked in a small room on a tiny island in the middle of a huge lake. Even if she managed to get out of the room, she wouldn't be able to reach the shore. On the island, there were no trees or any tools she could use. It means she couldn't build a boat. And still, half a year later, the princess managed to escape and returned home all by herself. How did she do it? It happened in Norway. It's cold there in the winter. As soon as the lake froze over, the princess walked on the ice and escaped. Mrs. Brown called the hospital and said her husband had been hurt. When the doctor arrived, she led him to the bathroom. The man was lying on the floor inside. She said the bathroom door had been opened, and she saw everything when it happened. Her husband was washing his hands but slipped and hit his head on the sink. The doctor didn't believe her and called the police. Why?
Look at how the man's lying. His head is on the opposite side of the sink. He couldn't have fallen like that. A tired mother of three daughters came home late after work. She found the kitchen all messy. It seemed one of her daughters made a sandwich but didn't clean after herself. The mother walked upstairs and found all three of them doing their homework. She asked who had made the sandwich, but all the girls, Hannah, Della, and Emily, denied making one. Still, the mother could tell who was lying. Look at the kitchen and the girls carefully. Who do you think is guilty? And how did the mother understand who was lying? There's some butter on the right side of the knife. It means the person who made the sandwich is left-handed. There's only one left-handed girl in the family, and that's Emily. So it must have been her. All the money from the city's bank was stolen right in the middle of the day. But no one noticed that. Several days later, the room where the money used to be stored was found completely empty. There was just one note saying 7718. The police arrested the three most known criminals in the city, Bill, Mark, and Cole. But the officers didn't know which of them was guilty. They invited a famous detective to crack the mysterious note. And he managed to do it immediately. Can you do it too? Turn the paper upside down. This way, the numbers turn into a name, Bill. He must be the culprit. Now wait. If Bill isn't quite that dumb to name himself, did someone else frame Bill for the robbery? Hey, just thinking out loud here. Moving on. Devian found his friend Aaron in his room. The guy was poisoned. Devian called the police. When the officers arrived, he told them he had been walking past Oliver's house and noticed the light in his room was on. He came up to the window to check who was inside, his friend or his brother. It was cold and there was frost on the window, so he wiped it away to see who was inside. When Devian saw Oliver lying on the floor, he called the police. The officers didn't believe the guy and immediately arrested him. Why? Devian said he'd wipe the frost off the window to see better. But he couldn't possibly do it. Frost forms on the inner surface of the window. Now, let's check how well you know logos. In each pair, you'll have to pick the correct one. What does the Apple logo look like? Try to recall the one on Ted's MacBook. The second logo is correct. Okay, here's Instagram. Do you remember what its icon looks like? Yes, this small dot must be in the right corner. So the first logo is correct. I bet you see it every day. What's the real Google logo? It's the second one. First, the red O, then the yellow one. Which one is the correct Burger King logo? Of course, it's the second one. Now I'm hungry. If you play video games, you must know it. If not, well, try yourself. Which PlayStation logo is correct? The second one. Okay, now, a tough one. Which TikTok logo is correct? It's the first one. Check it out if you don't believe me. 